What's up everyone, Anthony Saratelli here, a Jersey filmmaker, and you're looking at a beautiful view of the city, if that comes into focus. I'm heading out to New York to go to an event at B&H, and I wanted to kind of share this with you because maybe you're not from New York, so I wanted to show you what it's all about. I actually got an email saying that they're having an event in their event space to show off the Varicam LT. There's a DP there that'll be talking about his experience with the Varicam LT on The Forgiven, a movie he just shot. So I just want to show you what it's like to go out to New York and hit up an event that b &H hosts. out here but being from Jersey I take the path train over and it drops you off right at the central hub here in New York at Madison Square Garden it's a central hub but it's also very convenient for going to B&H because it's only an avenue or two away So here I am at B&H on the corner of 33rd and 9th and it spans the full block down to 34th Street. Two levels. It's a huge superstore if you've never been here. You should come check it out if you're a camera geek. It's awesome. So I'm about to go check out the event. I know that I can't bring the camera in there. It's prohibited but I'll probably try to sneak some shots. I'll see what kind of info I can get you or what kind of b-roll at least I could show you of the store. We'll see what I could do. I'm going in. All right, so the event wasn't actually at the event space at b &H. You get an email from event space at b &H and it wasn't there. You have to look in the fine print below. Below it tells you if it's at another venue, which it was. It was at this venue about 10 blocks down. In the email it says if you're late, they can give away your seat. So I ran down here, which was unnecessary because there were plenty of seats, but it ended up being a really awesome presentation. The ASC's name is William Wages and he presented about a film he just shot called The Forgiven. So it's The Forgiven that he shot in South Africa. Good examples of the dual ISO that Panasonic offers in their cameras. It's really, really cool technology I'm super interested in now. I'd love to test out their dual ISO is their big seller. Their colors look great as well, but the dual ISO seems amazing. I'm gonna look even more into this before I get more into this with you guys because I want to know more about it before I start spewing info but it seems really cool you can shoot at a native ISO of 5000 on their Varicam cameras and their new EVA 1 shoots at a native 2500. Both have the other native being 800 so you can raise the ISO, raise your exposure pretty much without introducing gain to your image pretty freaking cool. Before and after the presentation, Panasonic had their cameras, the Panasonic LT, the Panasonic 35, and the Panasonic Pure, along with the EVA 1 with an EF mount and PL mount that you can play with on the floor. And we're also displaying some of their work on some really nice TVs of theirs, OLEDs, HDR, SDR, some really cool stuff to see and nice to get your hands on them, so kudos to them for having that available. Anyway, that's all I got for now, heading back to Jersey to go home gonna be the same exact trip just the opposite I know this episode was a little different so if you liked it please click the like button subscribe if you haven't already if you have any comments or questions you can leave them below or contact me on any of my social medias Instagram Twitter or Facebook at Jersey Filmmaker thanks so much for watching remember get out there don't wait go create and I'll see you next time